Hey everyone, uh, so today's video is a continuance of a previous video, Brittany's Gaming Computer, the first part was the complete teardown. This video will show the cleaning of several multiple parts that were taken out of that case, as well as several components of the case itself. Um, this video is a long time coming. It was originally recorded back when the pandemic began, and that was, well, it was recorded in April of last year. I apologize for being so late. I originally had several drive fillers, as you all know. I finally got almost all my data back, and I'm slowly putting out videos. The hardest part of being a YouTube content creator is, well, the video editing, because of the flare of Jim Mac the dramatics and all that. Also, I complain a lot, I'm always tired in the video. I am now on day shift, so that helps a lot. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I'll see you at the outro. Bye. Okay, people, uh, okay, so how does I'm going to remote my TV so before I continue it. on explaining what, yeah. why I just took it's this part. To um, uh, so there it is. Pause you. Okay. Remember, the reason that I was asked to look at this computer and repair it was because it was not booting at all. It had no power, no nothing. Well, it would turn on, fans would spin, things like that. But nothing on the screen, no inputs working or anything. And I decided to test out removing the SSD because, like I said before, I had the same issue with my hard drives on my gaming computer. And uh, so after I unplugged everything, it all worked. Now, oh, I unplugged the SSD, sorry. Ooh. I am now on my three-week vacation. This is my first day. I worked today, but it's now my first day off, so I thought I'd finish getting this computer worked on. Uh, <clears throat> but I'm not sure if I can get it to see this properly. Uh, get the camera. Yeah, it's not going to focus, but there's these little black, looks like MOSFET chips. Uh, if I got the term right. But they look like they burned out. Like, there was a surge of electricity and it just burned them out. And if that's correct, that means this can be fixed. However, I don't know the ratings for those little black chips at all. And if they are MOSFETs or wherever you, wherever they're called, I, I apologize. I'm honestly tired. Uh, then, well, I've had issues just trying to find those before. That's why I recommend when this happens, replace the drive because there's no telling why that happened. Um, but like I said before, I did hook up one of my own personal solid state drives that I use for diagnostics and the computer worked fine. Um, this was a uh, Corsair SATA 3 Force LS 60 gigabyte, and yes, the warranty was voided. Oh, but I doubt they'd try to fix this with it like this. Uh, I might hit up that one YouTuber that popped up on Linus's channel after Linus baked what was it, both a graphics card and SSD. I might hit him up and see if he wants to uh, take a crack at this, see if he can get it working. This way I can at least try to get the data back off of it for Brittany. Um, as you can see, 
One of the reasons why SSDs are so fast is because they have two chips. This one can have four. It also has... Well, some of them will have a cache on them. But anyways, from what I understand on certain types of SSD technology, these basically act like a RAID 0. I'm just putting in terms that I can understand so that other people can try to understand it. And as a result, it just basically boosts the power and speed of the chips. This uses what looks like a... And I'm not sure if I'm right. Like I said, I've been up a while again. A Bison? Bison? Some kind of chip. I think that's the controller chip for it. Um, let's see. There's one, two, three of those. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those are going to be the power delivery components for this thing. And they are burned out. And this is another reason why I say make sure that you mount your SSD, spend the extra five bucks, get a bracket, and mount it properly in a drive bay. Um, as you have you as you've seen on some of my other videos, my server rack and stuff, where I have hot swap bays. That's why I have hot swap bays. In fact, I now have 2.5 hot swap bays in there as well, just for this reason. I mean, I got tired of taking it apart. But instead of cheaping it out and just, hey, there you go, I'm done. I can actually properly mount them and slot them in and use them. So, but yeah, this... I'm going to, like I said, send this off to that guy. I, I think his name is Rossman or something like that. I apologize uh, to that person. If you would kindly explain to me what, let's see... It's the chip here, here, and here that are burned out, it looks like. They're melted. So, yeah, they're burned out. And then, hit me up. Uh, I'll try to message you still, uh, in case you missed my video. However, if you look, the other reason why I say to mount these properly, here are the pins that connect the see, power and data lines. So, this isn't the best connection setup for it. Uh, yeah, it's got a solder here and here to act as a way to hold it tightly, but the, that's not the best style I see. <clears throat> I don't know where my other one that's dismantled is currently at, but <clears throat> because this was flopped around, chances are this wobbled around somehow or some way, and it just caused a short somewhere and just blew those chips out. So, once again, if you're going to build a computer, please do the job correctly. Prop and as I'll show you, as you've seen in the actual teardown video, the case itself had three different locations to mount SSDs. And this is my little kit that I bought. It has 300 pieces. I paid 8 bucks for it. If you're going to do computer jobs, buy the right stuff, so this way your customers are happy and stuff like this does not happen. Uh, so yeah, I think his name is Eric Rossman. I'll hit him up and see if he wants to uh, try to repair this and get, help me get the data off it. She said there's nothing important on there, but I'd rather give her the option to try and get the data back, if it's possible. Um, chances are, though, he'll... He does mostly lap, like, Apple repairs and stuff, but he's got the actual hardware and machinery to properly repair stuff like this. I'm not pulling a Linus and baking this in an oven for, like, 450 degrees for an hour. Oh. Because it's blown chips that are melted already. That's not going to help. Oh. Screws. Toss them in the little tray and call that done. Okay. Uh... Well, we're going back. We're now going to do the complete teardown, well, finished teardown of the heatsink. See you in a few.
hot, so it's going to stay nice and cool. And it's not just this fan. There are actually two I still claim that are going to be pushing air up. And I'm honest about this. I have this seen worse. Our challenges. <laughs> right now. So I'm running into more and more evidence that, one, I need to remember to turn the YouTube channels I'm watching off before I record, and two, I'm finding more and more evidence that something got spilled inside this computer at one time. However, as you saw in the SSD, it didn't have anything on the inside of it, and where it was mounted, the SSD was mounted in the case was in the front corner of it, front bottom corner. Whereas, this is near the back where the power supply is. Um, I have another one of these I'll be putting in there instead. The reason being, I, I'm not sure if I really trust this myself right now because... Oh, see if I, I'm not even sure I can get good angles at this, but... If you look, there's some weird discoloration. Which makes... Well, like, I can scratch it, and nothing... Like, here's a little bit of it. It just it don't come off. That makes me think that whatever got spilled in there might have slightly... Like, it's, it'll most likely be okay. This will most likely still work, but I don't want to give her a possible bad part. She's waited long enough for this, and this is a Hyper 212 Evo, which I have a couple of these. I will go ahead and uh, give her mine, and I will hold on to this and try and figure a way to get this clean. Um, these are like 20 30 bucks on Amazon. I would pay out of pocket to buy her a brand new one, but as we know, currently we got a epi uh, whatever going on, a virus that's going around. And right now, Amazon is concentrating on making sure everyone has essential medical supplies and food to live. Because no one is able to work currently due to the social distancing going on. Um, so, I will give her mine. Mine is in pretty good shape right now. Uh, but as you saw, I did clean this up pretty nice. It's just... These are heat pipes... They draw heat into the fin stack. Fan blows air through the fin stack, cools it down. Then, since these are heat pipes, they have a liquid in them where it circulates. And when it cools down, it goes back down and gets heat again in a continuous cycle. And these are also pure copper, which helps with heat conduction and stuff like that. Um. But since these are heat pipes and they are hollow on the inside, without me being able to verify just at the moment, like I can stress test this and on one of my computers I can run at 200 Celsius if I wanted to. I don't recommend that, but it's good for testing stuff like this. Um, I just, I don't want to put it in there and leave her having to bring it back to me because it broke. So, I'd rather be safe than sorry. And, so, let's see if I can find the other one real quick. Oh. I really need to get some sleep. Uh, I gotta move the camera, peeps. There it is. On top of the case for my gaming computer. Come here, girl. You got a new home to go to. Told you. Now, sure, I didn't just pull that out of my ass. Um, out of the air. 
Hold on, let me sit down. Here is her old one. With, see, right here is the marking. I will need to clean this one back up, but. Let's see if I can get this. Yes, Cooler Master logos are stamps, so that means turn it this way. They match up. Now, as you can see, there's that weird coloring there, and there's none there. So. Yeah. I just don't trust it. And as she's running an i7, she needs something decent sized that will work. So, I'll just give her mine. Don't have to swap out mounting hardware or anything because of the same cooler. I will hold on to my bracket and fan. Uh, since I'll keep the other one. This way I can test it and make sure it works. This way I come across another person who needs some work done on their computer. And they have Hyper 212 Evo if that one is fine. And their Hyper 212 Evo is busted. They will have a decent product. And won't have to worry about it. Anyway, <coughs> back to the time lapse.
Okay, uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video. As you saw, we went through several steps. I dismantled the SSD, tried showing what was wrong. There were three power delivery chips that were completely burnt out. I did not contact Eric Rossman. Uh, quite honest, I forgot. And, like I said, this video is old. But it, I promised it would be out. After this video, uh, next week will be the reassembly and final done parts of it. I did not, this is just ahead of time, I did not record the reaction of the customer. Though they were very happy with the final product, I will say this ahead of time as well. It did have to come back for a warranty repair. Um, can't even get to it right now. I wound up having to RMA one of the Noctua fans, but thankfully because we outfitted her whole case with 120mm Noctua fans, I took the bottom front one and replaced it with the fan that was on the Hyper 212 Evo. The computer wasn't overheating at all, but I'd rather have a functioning fan on a heat sink, as you all know. Uh, but yeah, also as you saw, I replaced her Hyper 212 Evo with mine. I deeply scrubbed every component. It needed it. Um, and, well, I used all kinds of different cleaners. As you have also seen, there were certain things I could not get off without a heavier chemical bath that would most likely have stripped the paint, from my personal experience. So, I did what I could. It looks like it's still brand new even though I couldn't get certain parts off of it and like I said she loved it so uh, I hope you all will stay tuned for part three that will be coming out next weekend I will see you all I'll uh, see y'all then bye also please like and subscribe and anything I can do better leave in the comment section below on what I can do better thank you